Thanks for watching. In the last video, you may have seen me build this or go over what I did to build this a short wheelbase axial SX103. This started off as a base camp kit. I didn't know this either, but this base camp kit actually comes with straight axles. So you get straight AR45 axles with a high entrance pinion gear, helically cut gears, really easy to work with transmission. And a few simple tweaks make sure that you can build your own short wheelbase truck. I will make sure that the link to that video is uh, in the video description of this video uh, so you can easily check it out for yourself to see how you as well can build a short wheelbase axial truck using all axial parts because every single part I use also in order to make the links and all that uh, is from axial really easy to work with and went together with great ease. Now why am I building this? I really like these four-door jeeps like this uh, ready to run it you see over here. This is a portal axle truck um, and I want to have a really nice low center of gravity short wheelbase two-door jeep rather than a four-door one. So what I've done uh, I'm pretty sure that like this you will be able to see it. I have made this thing so short that I will be able to chop a huge chunk out of the body just like I did with my Axial SX6 back in the day. Uh, put everything back together and then have a truck that looks like a two-door Jeep Wrangler. So that's the main idea. Now in order to pull all of this off I do need to move over a few parts from this ready to run like for example the inner fenders, the bumpers, maybe even the engine cover in the front all of that uh, cool stuff to this short wheelbase truck in order to make it look good. After that I will also harvest all of the plastic parts, the interior, uh, the door handles, everything that is on this ready to run body over to a clear body so I can mock that one up and get it ready for paint. Now in order to obscure all of the cut lines on my clear shell because there will of course be two big cuts going on over here in the area where I'm going to shorten it I will use some 3D printed parts from Night Customs, which I found at umagine.com. For example, window inserts, I will use a roof rack just in order to obscure all of those cuts and hopefully divert the attention a tiny bit from it being heavily modified. So that is also something that we will do hopefully in this video before paint. Uh, main focus, however, is parts harvest moving all of this stuff over to the short wheelbase and making sure that it looks good and that it still functions well. So let's get started with that. I can go like, and just like that it was done, but this was really not just like that and it was done. This was actually quite a bit more work than I thought. Not putting the parts from uh, this chassis over to that chassis, but figuring out how to do everything with the body. Let's get into that uh, in a minute. Uh, you can tell I took the front inner fenders off. That's a direct bolt on so I uh, just moved those over. I didn't bother with the faux engine just because that one doesn't really sit nicely over the Reeves RAW 500 steering servo. Plus I mean it doesn't have an opening hood so I have no purpose whatsoever for this faux engine. So I decided to just leave that in here. Um, the rear fenders, the rear inner fenders, those were a tiny bit of work so I needed to chop a, a chunk of those off. You can tell in the bag over here this is where all of the uh, amputated parts are. So there's uh, uh, quite a bit of plastic over here. Nothing drastic though. Uh, the rock sliders I needed to chop those off because of course everything that happens after that uh, or behind that front door I should say uh, is completely irrelevant so that rock slider pushes all the way uh, past those uh, side doors on the back as well and you have no purpose for that length. So that as well, I cut that off. Put the bumpers on front and rear and it started to look pretty good already. You can see behind me that the axial bureau key, so that's my uh, SX10 II kit that I built back in the day. That one currently has no wheels, that's because they went on this one. So these are spec RC rims. These are also uh, Proline Be of Good Rich uh, tires, uh, tiny ones. So these are 4.19 sized uh, class one tires. So super small tires. They tuck really nicely actually in this uh, body. So we wanted to have something that is uh, not like oversized in uh, the tire area, just so it tucks well, it sits well. This is of course pretty low truck. Uh, it has the short shocks, it has straight axles. It then has tiny wheels uh, because you don't need a whole lot of ground clearance since it is a short wheelbase. Let me show you what I did to the body. First thing you will see 
I think is that I also managed to put the interior in there. That one involves a tiny bit of think work, so I had a couple of coffees, looked at it a few times and then decided to cut. Pretty easy, I cut 45 millimeters out of the cage and then I glued that back together, crossed my fingers, uh, said a tiny prayer and then that actually worked. I also chopped uh, some of the webbing off, so you have uh, a tiny bit of uh, bar work going on in the top. Uh, then as well I uh, chiseled that to my needs, glued that up so it uh, actually worked. And then I chopped a strip of 45 millimeter out of the rear panel or the rear section of the panel, uh, glued that together and then uh, yeah that was uh, pretty easy to do and it works really well. This is also a crucial part especially right now in mock-up to keep those two halves together because I cut the body in half or it does need to work of course. Uh, in it being held together. So you got on the interior, you got two screws going uh, underneath the, the cowl where you have the wipers and then there's two screws that go in the rear body mount. So having that interior panel is kind of crucial in order to make this work. Um, after that I chopped the outer body. So I chopped the shell. I have taped the sections that I have cut on this uh, non-chopped body. So you can actually see where I have cut. So it is a, a section that is very much parallel, so all of these body lines are pretty much the same. Uh, there is a tiny difference between the window in the door and the window in the very back, uh, but nothing super crucial for it to not work. So once you cut this strip of Lexan out of the body, you have two halves, and after that if you carefully do something like this, I found a way to get rid once the two pieces are like married together to get rid of the bottom hinge that uh, would usually appear in that uh, rear door section and also the rear door handle. That's uh, something that greatly annoyed me with my SCX6 cut that I just did really quickly uh, without looking at it too much. And this one has a tiny bit more think work uh, that went into it. And with it I also think that it will look a tiny bit better once it is completely done. Um, after that I of course had two body halves that I could join together using the interior panel. Uh, I also put on uh, the fenders. These fenders, these are actually Knight Customs bar fenders. I will make sure that there's a link to these also in the video description box if you cannot scan the QR code that is in your screen. You can find all of these files at youimagine.com and youimagine is a new daughter company of my mini factory that has a focus on RC. So all of the Knight Customs products as well you can find those over there. Like for example this uh, KC Highlights light bar, the snorkel, those bar fenders, the grill insert that I have right here. Then James was kind enough to design me some uh, window inserts. So these are window inserts that are suitable for some uh, roto packs. I will shoe glue these into place once I'm completely done with all of the paintwork. Uh, they slot in pretty nicely so I made sure to cut them out the front and the back section of the body just so all of that works. I also printed out this front runner roof rack uh, and this again is a tiny bit of a trick in this case to make sure that I can join those two halves together but also obscure the cut in the roof while I'm at it. So uh, I hope that explains a tiny bit what I did in order to make all of this happen. This was not a whole lot of work but it was a tiny bit elaborate in the think work that uh, went into it. I hope I will achieve the look of uh, almost like a stock looking truck. Something that hopefully will go in production someday. Uh, I hope that uh, you will see this at uh, Axiofest Badlands if you are attending. That I will run into you. Perhaps we will run a course with uh, this truck. That will be a lot of fun. Uh, you can find me over there. I will be uh, running this thing and uh, putting it through its paces hopefully without any breakages but I have no doubt actually that this will perform pretty well. If you're curious how I did the chassis, watch the first video. I hope this video explained a tiny bit uh, what you need to do in order to uh, make everything work. So what you need to amputate in order to make this look like this. And then uh, next video will be paint and then I will be hopping on a plane getting out of here. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye. Back on.